Just a brutal collision on the football field tonight. A middle school player flown to the hospital. Good evening. I'm Mike Dardis. And good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. WLWT News Five's Jackie Conjado just got off the phone with the boys' coach. She joins us live now from Children's Hospital with an update. Jackie. Mike and Cherie, the coach, tells me that this eighth grader initially things were not looking very good. He said right off the bat he was having trouble wiggling his toes and his eyes were bleary and he was unresponsive. But the coach tells me that changed pretty quickly. He said by the time they had him loaded in the helicopter, he was responding. He was even laughing at jokes. So that's good news earlier this evening. We want to take you to the scene there at the game. According to the coach, this happened midway into the fourth quarter of the Nagel Milford eighth grade game at Milford. This young man is a safety on Nagel's silver team, and the coach tells me he went in for a tackle at the line of scrimmage, and that's when this injury occurred. Now, they immediately called the game, the coach telling me that players on both sides of the field were very concerned. Even the coach, he says, this was the hardest thing he's ever had to watch. Um, on my sideline, we have over 50 years of, of coaching experience, and all four of us coaches reiterated that fact that this is the, the um, Toughest thing we've gone through as a as a coach. Um, the whole team is standing behind him and wishing him well, and we are we're sure that he is going to recover fully. Um, he was in good spirits the last time I saw him before they they put him on the helicopter to transport him to Children's Hospital. And an update from the coach tonight. He says the scans came back, and this looks like it was nothing more than a really bad concussion. We also spoke with the superintendent, uh, who tells us that the tests are looking good at this hour. He's spoken with this young man's parents, who, of course, are here at Children's Hospital by his side. The superintendent tells us that they are going to keep him overnight just for observation. Reporting live outside Children's Hospital, Jackie Conjado, WLWT News 5. Milford also sent along a statement tonight expressing their support for Nagel's injured player.